It's it's a good thing that Eric DeCosta and John Harbaugh and them, they in Indianapolis, because right now the whole Owens Mills is burning down. YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, hey, I mean, Bateman probably going to end up deleting it, but the internet done already seen it. It's too late, my friend. Uh, we still love you, and we appreciate the honesty. We always appreciate honesty around here. And Bateman, he let it be known. So, of course, we did the video earlier today. <laughs> We did a video early today talking about how there were former Ravens players. And we talk, we talk about how timing is everything, but there were former Ravens players that have been calling out the team strength and conditioning issues that have been going on for the longest. Some of those former players included uh, Carl Davis, um, former defensive lineman, um, Bam Bradley, former linebacker, and also uh, Quincy Adebojo, uh, former wide receivers who all dealt with injuries in their careers and I appreciated Quincy's uh his post the most because he really like broke it down what exactly what he dealt with and what he had to do when he still had to play and practice and whatnot he broke it down so we appreciated that a lot but amidst all of that um Brent Law 251 he said uh he had quoted one of Quincy Adebojo's tweets where Quincy said, definitely ruined my career. Three years season ending injuries in a row after being healthy my entire career prior. So Brent Law 25 on Twitter, he said, well, that's kind of like Rashad Bateman. Dude was healthy in college and comes to Baltimore and hasn't finished the season yet. Hopefully new changes lead to new healthy success. So he tweeted that, tagged Rashad Bateman in it. And what did Rashad Bateman do? He retweeted it. And you know how usually a retweet of something is usually an endorsement, but Rashad Bateman was like, look, I, I just don't want to leave this up to interpretation. I don't want people to just wonder if I'm endorsing this or if I approve of this or not just because I retweeted it. Let me break this down. So Sarah Ellison, shout out to Sarah Ellison, by the way. Um, you know, how Sarah, Sarah Ellison, anytime that there's a presser, a lot of times she'll put a lot of the quotes on Twitter that was said at that presser. So, of course, yesterday, Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh spoke to the media, but in Eric DaCosta's part of the press conference, um, she put this quote. She said, Eric DaCosta on problems drafting wide receivers. If I had an answer, that would probably mean I would have some better receivers. We're going to keep swinging. Uh, there have been some guys that have been successful players for us that were draft picks. We've never really hit on that all pro type of guy, which is disappointing. But it's not for a lack of effort. It's one of those anomalies that I really can't explain. Other than to say that we're not going to stop trying. We're going to keep swinging and hopefully at one of these points, we're going to hit the ball out of the park. So Rashad Bateman took notice of that. And Rashad Bateman quote tweeted that. And this is what Rashad Bateman said uh, in a post that, again, it'll probably be deleted in a little while, but the internet done already seen it, big dog. And it's okay. I ain't got no problem with him tweeting it. But at the same time, we remember the last time Ravens had a receiver that was outspoken. Remember what happened to him? He was outspoken, got shipped off, even though he wanted to be shipped off. But now we got Rashad Bateman. And let's just listen to what he had to say. He said it. How about you play to your player's strength and stop pointing the finger at us and at number eight? Obviously, that being Lamar Jackson. Blame the one you let do this. We take heat 24-7 and keep us healthy. Care about us and see what happens. Ain't no promises, though. Tired of y'all lying and capping on players for no reason. Ooh, bait! Bait! Oh, man, <laughs> like this, I already had a lot of love for Rashad Bateman, man. I already did. I, already, I, I had a lot of love for Rashad Bateman, and it sucks the way that his past couple of seasons have ended. But this made me love Rashad Bateman that much more. Like, I love it! And you know what's funny? We talked about in the previous video, we talked about how it's interesting how all these former players are calling out the Ravens strength and conditioning staff, but then I talked about it would, be, it would really be something if a current player called them out. But this is a different sort of, this is a mix of calling out the strength and conditions that, but this is more so them calling out the front office um, and, and them calling out the coaching staff too. Because again, how about you play to your player's strengths? You know how long we've been saying that on here for? And again, we, we just sitting at the end of the bar, so we don't know nothing from nothing. But we've been saying that for a very long time. The Ravens don't play players to their strengths. We've been saying that so long, especially on offense. But anyway, so how about you play players to their strengths and stop pointing a finger at us and number eight? 
Oh, well, we already know how that goes. We already know how that goes. Anyway, you said blame the one you let do this. We take heat 24-7. They do, for sure. Oh, they take a lot of heat. Uh, and keep us healthy. Care about us and see what happens. Ain't no promises, though. Mm. Tired of y'all lying and capping on players for no reason. So Rashad Bateman letting it be known, like, hey, this ain't all on us. This ain't all on us. We need to let the truth be known. And then he said, since we speaking. And the thing about Rashad Bateman, he wanted this to get out. He wanted this to be seen. Because if you recall, a couple days ago, Rashad Bateman, his Twitter was private. His Twitter was private. Even a couple of hours ago, his Twitter was private. He took it off private so this could be seen more. Smart man. Hey, <laughs> I ain't mad at it at all, man. Shout out to Rashad Bateman, man. I, I think we got a number seven jersey somewhere in there, but hey, I, I should award for this video, man. My I apologize, Bate, but I love it. I love it because uh, it's real. Now, I just wonder, will Rashad Bateman be here this year? Are they going to trade him away and then not replace him as well? Same thing that happened with Hollywood, and we know Hollywood wanted to be traded. But why did Hollywood want to be traded? Well, because the offense didn't, they didn't play into the straights. They didn't maximize them like they could have or should have. He didn't like the offense, the way that it was headed, the way that it had been headed. Didn't like it. So it felt like, oh, you know what? Let me get out of here. They traded him. Rashad Bateman is saying that the Ravens don't play players to their strengths. So that would be an indication that he might not be a fan of the offense. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Well, Bateman, he told us. But anyway, um, Hollywood. Hollywood, he... Uh, <laughs> Hollywood, he, he chimed in a little bit, a little bit. Hollywood over there in Arizona, he, chimed, he checking it out. though. He, hey, he keeping tabs, though, man. Because um, with uh, the whole Steve Saunders thing, uh, be right, 135 on Twitter when all the Steve Saunders stuff was coming out he said how does primetime jet Hollywood on Twitter how does Hollywood not uh, how Hollywood not out in Steve Saunders Steve Saunders too uh, right now so he basically said hey why, why ain't Hollywood saying nothing about this this is a perfect opportunity everybody people chiming in and Hollywood said I'm gonna mind my business I'll take accountability over my own body so then a little bit later um Ramey Hoodie Ramey I know Hoodie Ramey shout out to Hoodie Ramey by the way um he had put the picture up of Rashad Bateman's tweet and he said, oh, brother. And then Hollywood quote tweeted that and said, let him cook in reference to Rashad Bateman calling out EDC and them calling out the Ravens coaching staff. Uh, and then uh, my guy, Nick DeRula, he quote tweeted Hollywood and said, no, nah, man, hold them folks accountable. And Hollywood said, I tried. You can't win that way. They got too much control. They're going to try to paint a narrative. Oof. Ooh, and, and you know, you know what's funny? It's not funny, but it's just, it's real when you look at it. You got Rashad Bateman, you got Hollywood Brown, you got Devin Duvernay, you got James Prochet, you got Miles Boykin, you got Tylen Wallace. Um, who am I missing? Is that everybody? I feel like I'm missing somebody. But regardless, you got those are the, those are all the receivers that you've been drafting over the past couple of years. Yeah, because it's been two at a, it's been two at a time. I know I'm missing somebody. It was Hollywood and Boykin. It was Duvernay and Prochet. Oh, did Wallace come in with Bateman? I don't even remember. Either way, all right. So forget all that. Don't even matter. But Tyler Wallace hasn't said anything. Miles Boykin never said anything. Uh, Devin Duvernay never said anything. James Prochet never said anything. But guess who spoke up about the Baltimore Ravens? Guess what receivers out of those six spoke up? Hollywood Brown, Rashad Bateman. You think it's a coincidence that they're both first-round picks and they're speaking up? I don't think so at all because when you're a first round pick you have higher expectations not only placed on you but you have higher expectations for yourself because you've obviously done everything in your power to become a first round pick get drafted in the first round of the draft when it's seven rounds 32 rounds I mean seven rounds 32 picks per round that's a lot of people but you made it in the top 32 that says a lot about everything that you did in your collegiate career so obviously, especially as a first round pick, really as any pick, even if you don't get drafted, you want to put on. But especially as a first round pick, you want to show yourself. You really do. You want to show yourself and you want to make the best of your career because, hey, look, I'm a first rounder. I want to prove why I'm a first rounder. But 
if it just doesn't work like that if you don't get it like that if the expectations are not being met like that especially with you being a first rounder it's frustrating so i don't think it's a coincidence that out of the receivers that the ravens have drafted recently that is these two that have been the ones to speak up but like i said i love it i i, I appreciate it and because if if you just sit there silent on something especially something that's bothering you and I'm not sure how Rashad Bateman may have tried to address it. Maybe, I don't know if he talked to them in private or whatnot. I don't know. But he did say he's tired of people lying and capping and just putting everything on the players and whatnot and letting it be known, hey, it's not just on the players. I mean, I agree with that. We've been saying the same thing too, but it is what it is. Like I said, we at the end of the bar. We just fans, right? We don't, we don't know nothing. But, um, yeah, so, hmm. Good thing them boys are in Indianapolis right now and not at Owens Mills.